Okay, here we are, back on the channel with the Pimax uh, Crystal. And this time we're going to try setting up IL-2 for best performance uh, with the Crystal. Now, with DCS and with Flight Sim 2020, I found that uh, they really do work better for me in OpenXR. But uh, IL-2 seems to work okay in Steam on my 8KX, maybe at least as well as in um, OpenXR. I'm not sure why. I think it's just perhaps that uh, DCS is, is better suited to it and Flight Sim is too, but we'll see. I'm going to try, try setting this up for uh, Steam and let's see what we can do with settings here. I think we'll start if it lets me. Here we are. Now we've got 90% on Steam resolution. What am I running on Pi Tools? Let's find out. Pi Tools is set in IL2 for. Well, it's not Pi Tools, it's the Pimax client, which I think is a, a much improved version of Pi Tools. Render quality here is set at 1.25. So that's fine. We'll leave that alone. Get out of that. Let's try bumping this up to, say, 120 or so. Some people have reported that's kind of a sweet spot for them in terms of graphics. Other people have said that with the Crystal, other beta testers, my colleagues have said that uh, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of difference between 100 and 80 percent. I think uh, just a small baguette disagreed, but uh, most other people seem to find that the resolution that Steam requires or asks for doesn't seem to match up with the best setting for um, for the crystal. There's some kind of a bug there that I I think Matt Matt Bucciari was talking about it in the discords, and I can't I can't explain it. But I thought we'd we'd just try a couple of things. Another thing, Omni whatever, another one of the beta testers has advocated um, in Sims that we uh, we turn off anti-aliasing altogether. Now, in Flight Sim 2020, that doesn't work so well because it's been optimized for NVIDIA's DLSS. But let's see how it works in here. So we'll set Steam video at 120%. We'll leave that alone. And now let's get into the headset. And I must say, I'm, I'm completely surprised by how comfortable this headset is. I think it's, um, well, the 8KX is okay. I could play it in it for a couple of hours. I couldn't really say that it was uncomfortable. But this one, even though it's about the same weight or maybe even a little bit heavier, to me feels um, much better balanced. All right, so... Let's get set here. Oh, I guess I've got to pick the game. Here we are. That should do it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, I should clean these lenses. <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid my VR lenses are a little bit uh, dirty from being taken on and off so much. All right, so we have 68 frames per second sitting still here, according to uh, FPS. And my uh, uh, my NVIDIA frame counter is showing about the same. So let's just go to a quick mission. Let's go to settings first. No, let's... <laughs> oh, I keep changing my mind. Let's go to a quick fight here. I'll just use the airplanes that are here. Soft with Camel, Albatross, D5. I'm not going to bother with too much customization or anything. We'll see what kind of a frame rate we get without mucking about too much. Well, this seems very slow. I thought we'd have a picture by now. Oh, it's loading. Okay. I always forget. I always forget how long these games take to load. You know, when I started playing 
computer games. We loaded them from cassettes. And these little tiny games that would be, you know, uh, what, what, 24K now, or they might take 100K of memory, uh, would take 20 minutes to load off the cassette. So we've come a long ways. Camel setup. The only thing I really want is the enlarged window in the wing. All right, I'm showing 60, 70 frames per second now, sitting still in the hangar. Let's see what we get when we start. Okay. Press P to start. Well, we're not going to play the whole scenario out here, but we will um, see if we can uh, get this thing to work. I know I've Where's my, oh, sorry, I was in the wrong spot, as usual. Here we go. We should have a pause button. No, that's the, here we are. In VR, you can't see the keyboard. That's why I'd really like a pass-through mode. Now, I don't know if I have plane labels on, but let's just see how soon we can see the enemy. It should be in front of us here. I don't think I have plane labels on. I'm showing 44, 45 frames per second. That's pretty good. In fact, that's very good. That's very close. Oh, there he is. Wow. I didn't see him until he was almost on top of this. Take a light touch. Oh, didn't make it over the top. Okay. So we'll turn this into a kind of a hammerhead turn and see if I can keep my speed up. He looks very clear. Wow. The sunlight all reflecting off his wings on the D5A. Just, it's so clear and so amazing to see. It's really, really something. Oh, look, he's going to try and sneak away from me. Let's get that pin centered. Oh, I think that's going to hurt him. I really would like to have the field of view that I have in the 8KX, but I've got to say, um, everything's so much clearer in here that I, I really seem to have very little trouble with uh, with seeing the enemy and uh, and seeing him clearly enough to shoot him or her. I don't want to be sexist. All right, so let's finish the mission. Except so clarity is good we had 45 frames per second all right we'll finish that up I want to go back to settings so we'll exit this and let's go to settings now this time around on graphics what can I do well let's try turning anti-aliasing off if we can can we do that no we can turn it down, but we can't. Oh, it's down to here. Anti-aliasing is off. All right. So 46 frames per second with anti-aliasing off. Let's turn it on and see what the difference is. And we'll put it to the higher level as well, MSAA. And let's just see how that looks. Okay. Oh, i got to restart the game. Well, we can do that. So at this point, it's pretty cool. We're, we're discovering that uh, um, IL-2 seems to work quite well with anti-aliasing turned off. The pixels per square inch and the pixels per degree density on the Pimax crystal are very high, even on this uh, test lens, this uh, polycarbonate plastic lens that they have in our beta sets. We're, um, we're getting pretty clear vision you know everything's good um, but look at this we turn anti-aliasing on and the frame weight drops from 46 or 50 to down to 25 29 38 and that's when we're on the ground it's loading the game now so um, 
at this stage in the hangar before launching last time we had 60 or 70 frames per second and then it dropped down to 46. So I'll be interested in seeing how much this drops when we actually get into flight. And remember we've got steam set up to 120 percent of the headset's capacity according to whatever steam thinks that is. And uh, we've got uh, visual rendition quality set to 1.25 in the Pimax experience. All right, let's do that quick mission again. Same mission. Click on it. Good. Start. It'll just take a second. What's interesting is my uh, NVIDIA frame counter right now is showing 16 in between scenes and FPS VR is showing 90. But that's because nothing's really happening with the game. I think FPS only counts the game. Whereas uh, the uh, NVIDIA frame counter counts the frames that are happening regardless of what's going on in the game. All right, let's let's check our setup. Oh, we want the enlarged window. Okay, okay, okay. Let's give it a try. And let's see what we get. Okay, there we go. Yeah, 20 frames per second. So, I guess the moral of this story is, look at that, it's like playing a board game. Oh, I, could, I, could, I, could, I could get nauseous doing this. So, if you don't turn anti-aliasing off, you might start thinking that uh, the crystal and IL-2 are a really bad match in Steam, but in fact, they're okay. Um, I think I do slightly better in OpenXR with anti-aliasing turned off. Now, if the developers of IL-2, God bless them, yeah, I love them, ever um, update the software to accommodate NVIDIA's DLSS, that would be great. We'd get probably another 10 or 15 frames per second with the new anti-aliasing on. But as you can see, even looking at the curve of the uh, little windscreen here, I mean, there's no there's no jaggy lines. Everything looks good. But it's 20 frames per second. Okay, and I'm not even going to try and complete this. I'm gonna, I wonder if I can do settings in here from the game. Nope, can't do it. Okay. Got to exit. Let's just finish the mission. So. We can set the resolution up pretty high in Steam on the Crystal, up to 125, I think, 120, 125 in Steam, and 1.25 in the uh, Pimax client. And with uh, anti-aliasing turned off in IL-2, we get almost 50 frames per second. Very good. And the game looks great. You turn anti-aliasing on and use MXAA, or whatever the top level one available in IL-2 is. And uh, that frame rate drops off by more than half. So I guess if you're going to run IL-2, even if you're not on the Pimax Crystal, if you're on a an XK8 or maybe even a Reverb G2, you could try this, any of the headsets. Try turning anti-aliasing off. And if your resolution is high enough, it won't make a, much of a difference in the way the the images look to you, but it could make a huge difference in performance, right? And I gotta say, the more I use this crystal, the less I'm bothered by the difference in field of view. Um, in IL-2, I really noticed it before in the 8KX. I loved having that wide field of view. But uh, today, I just seem, I don't know, I'm seem, I seem maybe I'm getting used to a a, a narrower horizontal field of view because I didn't seem to have too much trouble tracking the guy, although he was 
were almost above me before I finally saw them. So I guess the moral of the story is maybe I don't need as much horizontal field of view as I thought. But I do know the crystal gives me a great picture, and with anti-aliasing turned off, I get a huge performance boost. So be interested. If you've got a different kind of headset, try turning anti-aliasing off, running in Steam, and uh, tell me how it goes in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope this has been helpful, and I hope you'll come back and see me again. I'm just an old fat man in a cruel world doing the best I can, and all your help and comments are appreciated.